What can I do with a VR headset? Can I use it with my PC? Is it expensive to own one? These are some of the questions you may have about VR headsets. And to be honest, I was one of those users that never appreciated VR because of how complicated and clunky they are back then. Until I got myself the Pico 4, which totally blew my mind on what it can do and changed my perception towards VR headsets after owning for almost two months. So if you're still hesitating about it, here's five cool things the Pico 4 can do and it could make you want to own one. Number one, the Pico video app. Watching 360 videos isn't new on VR headsets, but the Pico video app takes that experience up a notch with a huge library of high quality videos. There's informative educational videos, stunning travel videos, and even some really entertaining ones. The video library is constantly updated, which will hardly bore you. In addition, you even get to watch TikTok videos up close, and it is way more immersive than viewing it on your phone's display. Number two, working out on the Pico 4. If you don't have time to hit the gym or can't work out because of bad weather, the Pico 4 has a huge selection of fitness apps to choose from. And the all-in-one VR sports from the starter game pack is a super fun sports app that can really make you put in quite the effort. You get to do a variety of sports such as badminton, boxing, darts, and archery. These sports can feel extremely realistic, which is all thanks to the headset's smooth 90Hz refresh rate, and it doesn't make me feel dizzy at all, even after playing for an hour. Even if you're seated on a chair, some sports can be played without moving yourself too much. But man, you better make sure you have some space for extreme hand movements in games like badminton and boxing. What really sets the Pico 4 apart from the rest is fitness tracking. You can see how much calories you burn and the total exercise time on respective apps and games. And this fitness data can be synchronized to the Apple Health app if you use the VR Assistant app on iPhone. Number three, use your PC or Mac on the Pico 4. There's no need to take off the Pico 4 if you want to use your computer to watch movies or check out your social media feed anywhere at home. The virtual desktop app allows you to connect to your computer wirelessly and it's super dope to see your PC screen showing right in front of you. You can move it around and resize your screen like you see on sci-fi movies. I use it a lot to check on work emails, read news articles, and watch YouTube videos. This is so convenient if I'm in the virtual world and not near to my computer at home. It even allows me to switch between my PC and Mac. Number four, stream VR games wirelessly from PC to the Pico 4. Well, this could very well be the most wanted feature by many VR gamers, as I have always wanted to play Steam VR games other than the great games on the Pico 4. All thanks to the free Pico Streaming Assistant app, I can stream Steam VR games such as Beat Saber on the Pico 4 at a very low latency. And all you need to ensure is to have a good Wi-Fi 6 capable router and computer. It even works on my Ultrabook, which only has built-in AMD Radeon Vega graphics. Hence, it really isn't necessary to own an expensive gaming laptop or PC in order to stream VR games to the Pico 4. Number five, customize play boundaries. One of the problems about most VR headsets is that you require a huge space at home to use it. Even if you have the space, you might drift out of the boundaries and can hurt yourself as you hit something around your home. However, the Pico 4 resolves this with two things a 60 megapixel RGB camera, and a super accurate 6DOF positioning system, which works really great to ensure you are always within the play area. No matter the space you have, you can always draw custom play boundaries and have a stationary boundary set. Once you accidentally step out of it, the camera kicks in to show you the real world, and if you need to do something quick such as checking your phone, there's no need to take off the headset as you will just need to double tap on the side to manually activate the camera. So what do you guys think about these features? Pretty cool, right? Aside from these features that I talk about, there's still much to explore on the Pico 4, but I will be talking more about them in a future video. So definitely stay subscribed to the channel and let me know your thoughts in the comments. The Pico 4 VR headset starts at 1,699 ringgit in Malaysia, and if you guys want to experience it yourself, definitely head on to their experience store at Summit Pyramid and learn more about their promotional offers in the links below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.